Hello, I'm Joe Ballinger. I was born and raised in Charleston, West Virginia. I'm the son of Lanty Ballinger, a pharmacist who lived here in West Virginia for many, many years of his life and was an avid photographer of taking motion pictures of his family and uh, special events in his life. He learned to fly in 1912 and consequently uh, attended the, the Cleveland Air Races. That was a must for Dad, and uh, he used to like to describe the ground to us as how it appeared from the air. I never could put the two together, but uh, see, there's an altimeter in our car. My father always uh, <laughs> had to have a compass and an altimeter in his automobile on the dashboard, and uh, that's all they had in the old Aronica seaplanes that he, they had a RPM gauge and uh, an altimeter and a compass, and that was about it, I believe. I remember going out there with Dad, back of St. Albans, uh, that's an army plane. Made a forced landing, huh? Yeah, looked like all he did was bend the propeller yeah. up, what oh, have you. Crowd. This is Wurtsfield, there's a, what yes. kind of plane is that? Well, a Balanca? That's a, yes, that's a, that, that holds about 10 or 12 people. That's an early airline. Yeah. And when you look at the lift surface, the way that those wheel struts and all are part of it, that's, mm -hmm. that gives it the extra lift. Mm -hmm. I don't know what engine that has in it, but it's a pretty good size engine, I'll guarantee you. And some of these earlier aircraft of uh, single engine design went by the wayside. Yeah, I see the hangar, it said words Field on it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can see that's a quite sizable airplane. Mm -hmm for a single engine. Wurtsville was about where West Virginia State College right below the there. right below the college exactly where you turn to go into the Rhone Polonc plant mm -hmm. at that light that's where the uh, airport terminal building was located. Now this is a a trainer you can see that. Mm -hmm. Now here's an early auto gyro. This has a an engine in the front with a propeller mounted on it, and then the, the blades rotating rather slowly, it looks like. They serve the purpose of the wings? Yes. Early parachute jumps? Yes. Uh, being an Army parachutist myself, I believe this is a fellow's going to do what's prohibited in the military, a, a stand-up landing. You can see how he's pulling down one side of his chute in order to, to slip wind out of the other side. I took flying lessons myself later on. I really didn't have any real love for it. It was after I had become a paratrooper and I was always so anxious and so relieved to get out of the airplane. After I uh, finished World War II, my father traded some asbestos siding for an old airplane he fixed up and was flying out of Clark Field down below St. Albans. And I went down with him and almost got in and better sense uh, prevailed. And I said, no thanks, Dad. And he called me some kind of a name. and Chicken of some kind. <laughs> yeah, pushed the throttle in and away he went. 